Hey guys and welcome to a daily news series on this channel covering Tarkov. Now this is going to be covering a lot of the ghost changes, barter changes and as well as bigger changes as well as the official news coming straight out of BSG themselves. We will be posting a unofficial patch list or kind of patch notes in our discord so make sure you join our discord I will leave that in the top link of the description. So to start off, Nikita has posted a quick status update, what they plan to get fixed by the end of December on Reddit and Facebook. So to start off, they got a few plans to fix some of the annoying bugs, for example, infinite healing, different crashes and disconnection issues, ongoing reduction of freezes and stuttering, different Mac fixes like physical colliders and culling fixes, rework of stationary weapons on reserve as well as new content including clothes weapons gear the amount being determined right now and a lot more other ongoing processes is loot table changes economy system testing and balancing scav ai testing and balancing as well as upgrading the server infrastructure that server infrastructure thing we are a lot of us are looking forward to this I know a lot of people are having issues with scav being quite powerful at the moment and the economy system testing and balancing i'm assuming that's why they keep doing ghost changes for the barter trades without telling us the next big change is the armor rig armor values a lot of them have been changed and increased so avius went from 50 to 70 the TV-1100 went from 60 to 85. The 6B3TM went from 30 to 40. The Tactical M1 went from 45 to 65. The M2 went from 40 to 50. The 6B5-15 went from 45 to 50. The 6B5-16 went from 55 to 80. The A18 went from 65 to 80 and then the finally the tac tech went from 45 to 50. with these changes it looks like the armor is starting to get a bit more viable to run those rigs i know myself i will definitely start running these but the next thing is barter trades so for the first one jaeger tier 2 the trade for the 34 millimeter one piece mag mount has changed from two propane tanks down to one then over to Ragman tier 4, the Ars Armor A18 has changed from 1 gold ring and 1 gold chain to 1 gold ring and 2 golden chains. Next, same again, Ragman tier 4, the Gen 4 Assault Kit has changed from 2 gold rings and 4 gold chains to 3 gold rings and 6 gold chains. Then over to Mechanic tier 3. The DS Arms SA-58 has been changed from 8 weapon parts to 10 weapon parts. The next section is ghost changes. Ghost changes are where BSG make secret little changes and don't tell anyone. So to start off, the Red Rebel Ice Pig is now a super rare spawn in Shutterman Stash. The 18 inch barrel for the AR-15 had its ergo change from minus 9 to minus 11. The 20 inch barrel for the AR-15 has had its ergo change from minus 11 to minus 12. The 406 mm Moltor barrel for the AR-15 had its ergo change from minus 11 to minus 10. The adrenaline injector increases recoil by 15% with a 1 second delay instead of 2 and no longer affects mag drills. The KMZ 1P69 3 to 10 times rifle scope, ergo has changed from minus 9 to minus 12 and and added minus 1% recoil. The Boris full field tac 30 1-4 times 24 rifle scope has ergo changed from minus 2 to minus 3. The Ecotech Voodoo has had its ergo change from minus 1 to minus three the pso or every variant has had its ergo change from minus five to minus seven leopold mark 4 lr 6.5 
dash 20 times 50 rifle scope has had its ergo change from minus 2 to minus 3 and the accuracy decreased back to 0. The Night Force ATACR 7 35 times 56 rifle scope has had its recoil change from 0% to minus 2% and accuracy from plus 10 to 0. The PU 3.5 times rifle scope has had its ergo change from minus 4 to minus 5. The Hensolt FF 4 16 times 56 scope has had its ergo change from minus 6 uh, from minus 3 to minus 6 and recoil to minus 1%. The optical scope mark tactical 3 24 times 42 FFP ergo changed from minus 4 to minus 3. The 556 uh, M856A1 has had its recoil change from 0 to 4%. And the M855A1 recoil change from plus 4% to 0%. And now changes to the hideout construction time. For crafting times, the air filtration unit went from 24 hours to 48 hours. The library went from 14 hours to 38 hours. The Bitcoin farm level 3 went from 48 hours to 72 hours. There has been a new item added to the workbench for level 1, which is 4 LCD screens and a screwdriver now make 4 broken LCD screens. This also takes 22 minutes to craft. And now finally for some little teasers these are all from bsg's instagram there are new ar-15 attachments a handguard charge handle plus a grip which look pretty juicy a new svd silencer just to make it that little more op than it already is that is going to be a, a wonderful thing and possibly an sr25 we're not so sure that's what we're guessing what it is Maybe someone might leave a comment down below if you actually know which gun this is. So that's the end of the daily Tarkov news. There will be patch notes on Discord. will be in the top link of the description. If you guys have found this helpful, please leave a like and a comment down below. If you can know of any way of making the format of these different or easier or something along the lines of that, Please also leave a comment down below. This is still early stages of this. So we want to keep this going as long as BSG are going to be doing ghost changes, basically. So guys, thank you very much for watching. The person who helped me has got, got all this information is Vertex. Big shout out to him. And guys, I'll be live 5pm GMT. We'll also be covering the podcast that's coming out tonight. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.